guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm actually gonna quickly just show you guys how I get these beautiful curls using the Dyson Airwrap. So pretty much I've been curling my hair using the Dyson Airwrap, like the straight method, like just like up here. But honestly, the best way to use this is flipping it over and using it like a wand. So if you already have the Dyson Airwrap, go get your Dyson Airwrap and let's do this together because it is definitely, it's definitely gonna change your life it's gonna, it's a game changer way to curl your hair using the Dyson Airwrap, okay? Um, so keep on watching. So I'm gonna quickly show you guys how I was doing it originally and what I feel like a lot of people think is the correct way to do it. So the way that a lot of people use this is they'll actually just have, so this is my, this is my hair wet naturally and then they'll typically just use the barrel, so the barrel's going this way and then they'll start from the bottom like this and they'll go like that. Need the cooling session setting. So this is like how traditionally a lot of people do their hair like using the wand this way and it still makes a really pretty curl but I'll show you the difference now of doing it the other method the the method that I prefer to use is which is the way you use it as if it was like a regular curling wand so this is a curl how it normally is and let me just set it I feel like it doesn't need that much spray but whatever um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I prefer to use it and then we'll see if you can notice like a difference in the curl. So how I prefer to use it is using it as if it was like just a curling wand. Okay. Right. So what I'm gonna do now is show you guys how I personally like to use it and I personally like to flip it this way as if it was just like a regular curling wand and I prefer to use it this way because I just feel like the curls look a lot better so when you when you flip it this way you still want to make sure the arrow is going that way so it'll be you know backwards or whatever upside down I swear this way is so much better and I feel like it grabs onto the hair a lot better a lot faster and yeah I just feel like the curl itself just looks so much better I'll show you Okay, so now I'll show you guys the difference between the curls, but as you can see, this is a regular traditional way when we did it this way, and this is the way, this is the curl when you do it that way. So I don't know about you guys, but I definitely like this curl a lot more, more than this one. This is definitely like a really tight curl. It gives me like quinceanera vibes, <laughs> but I think that this is a lot, like it's just a loose curl, it's a little bit more effortless and I prefer my entire hair to look like this rather than my entire head to look like this. So I just went ahead and loosened up that really tight curl using my a comb that looks like this. I feel like it's a lot better now because I cannot deal with that really tight curl. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my hair and I'll show you guys the end result. So I am almost done. I just need a few more pieces So now it's time for the front pieces and what I like to do is I personally uh, like to use the round brush attachment. So this attachment, 
This is why I love the Dyson Airwrap because there's so many different attachments for different sections of your hair. Um, so what I like to do is just grab the front pieces here. So I don't really have like bangs, but I used to have them like up to here, like maybe like in like earlier this year. So. Um. See you next season like you are this rain. It's getting late. You need my time. It gets really hot in my forehead. But don't worry, I'm not trying to be your wife. So this is pretty much how my hair looks right after. It looks really good. I love how the volume of my hair. I literally feel like I just walked out of dry bar. Oh, that reminds me. So when I finish, I like to add a little bit of my dry bar triple sec spray just to make sure that the volume and everything stays in place. I don't like to try to add a lot, but add a good amount. And then I like to add a little bit of my Gazoo hair oil. This stuff is amazing. All you need is like a little bit. This is pretty much all I put. And then I just like to rub it like on my ends of my hair. And this is pretty much how I loosen the curls a little bit with the hair oil. And it just adds so much shine to your hair. It doesn't weigh it down and it's not like sticky or anything. And it smells pretty good. I definitely want to try the Gazoo hair perfume. It's like that her hair perfume that she has. I definitely want to try that. So if you guys have tried that and recommend, let me know. So yeah, that is pretty much how my hair looks right after. I love the way it looks. It has a lot of volume, a lot of movement, obviously. And it just looks so natural and like effortless, I feel. And this is pretty much how my hair looks all the time. This is just like my go-to. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that this video like you find helpful. If you are using it the traditional way, try it this way i promise it's a lot better and if you were deciding whether or not you wanted to buy the dyson air app i highly recommend it's like definitely my top five purchases of um maybe like all time but like top five purchases for sure for this year but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video um have a good rest of your day take care